of July. I remember that day because it was the night of Eid. <laughs> so that was the first, I think it wasn't like a very good timing to start a class for the first time, but we had, you know, a reasonable uh, number of uh, participants at uh, that time. So we've been running this class for more than five months now. And um, I really appreciate everyone uh, who, you know, support me and uh, attend this class. So thank you very much. Uh, today, I will not be able to turn on my camera. Sorry, I'm not ready. Uh, so we'll be just like a, a voice only uh, meeting. Uh, but if anyone would like to turn uh, on their camera, uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, I'll just share. Okay, Ahmad, thank you. So the voice is very clear. That is perfect. I'm going to share my uh, presentation now. And uh, yeah, whenever it appears on the screen, would you please let me know in the chat box? Okay, so can you see the the PowerPoint now? Miss Nancy, yeah, the voice is not clear right now. Okay, um, okay, just let me check with everyone, guys. Can you all hear me, or is it just is it just screen, or uh, for all of you? Okay, so Ahmed said that they can hear me well, uh, Shireen. Oh, and Yara said as well. So maybe you need to check your connection, Shireen. Maybe I have a problem in connection. I don't know. Yeah, because Let you see, Samar, Hanin, Yara, yes. Ahmed, they said uh, the connection is okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, today's topic. We are going to talk about appearances appearances okay um and let me just share this slide with you so this is today's topic and um, i just want to remind everyone that we meet every wednesday at 8 p.m ireland time 10 p.m egypt time and 11 p.m saudi arabia time i'm sorry i didn't <laughs> i didn't correct this one so it's uh, 10 p.m egypt time and 11 p.m ksa or saudi arabia time so um, as usual, I, I'll start by introducing myself quickly. And, uh, and as I said, this is class number 21 uh, of the Chit Chat with Nancy. And uh, the reason why I chose this name is actually because I wanted you to feel like you're chit chatting with a friend. I don't want you to feel like you are, you know, um, uh, in a formal kind of class. No, I want you to feel relaxed while speaking. Um, yeah, and this is the idea of this speaking class. Don't be afraid of making mistakes or something. Uh, just speak up, you know. Uh, so my name is Nancy. I'm originally from Egypt, but I've been living in Ireland for uh, almost six years now. Uh, I'm a pharmacist, but I shifted my career around uh, seven years ago to become an English instructor. I worked in Saudi Arabia for two years. Um, and then uh, when I moved in Ireland and when I moved to Ireland in 2015, uh, I've been uh, teaching English since that time up until now. And then uh, a year and a half ago, I started my YouTube channel, Easy English with Nancy. Um, and the idea, you know, is just to share the language experience with others. So whoever, uh, you, you know, want to learn English, they would try to learn in a fun uh, and still fast-paced uh, way. Uh, so feel free to check my YouTube channel. It's again, Easy English with Nancy, and you can find me on social media, uh, on Instagram and uh, Facebook under the same name. So this is me. Uh, we will um, uh, go straight to the topic after I go through the group agreement or what I call it, uh, group rules. And just, you know, something simple, as long as we are gonna give each other a chance to speak. So you have to accept and respect others. Uh, you don't have to agree with everything uh, that is said in this in this uh, session. You know, uh, feel free to share your your thoughts, your idea, and your opinion. Uh, but you'll have to accept and respect other people. Uh, you we will have one voice at a time. You'll speak only in English. I know this could be sometimes hard, but try to do your best and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, you'll have a maximum of three minutes to speak uh, because like we are 15 participants so far so we want everyone to take a chance uh, to speak 
And I always say this is a judgment-free Zoom, okay? So no one here is going to judge you uh, for, you know, uh, uh, pronouncing anything wrong or, you know, saying that you're gonna, you have a bad English or bad accent or something like that. Like, I can guarantee that this will not happen in my class. And we always say that uh, this is about progress, not perfection, okay? So uh, if you are in, in a, a lower level and you're improving yourself, this is the progress that we're looking forward to. Uh, so if you guys agree to these rules, just type yes in the chat box and we can go forward in the presentation. Agree, okay, great, Summer. Summer always agree. <laughs> she always supports me. <laughs> and Nora says, yes, Hanin agree, Ahmed agree. Okay, great, okay. So now as we are talking about appearance, before we start, could anyone volunteer and tell us, like, what do you think this topic is about? What, what, what we're going to talk about? Like, what is it, appearance? Uh, can, can anyone, like, try to define appearance? Okay, Sri, feel free to unmute yourself. Hello. Hello, Miss Nancy. Hi, how are you? I, oh, I, I can't see you today. Your photo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my camera is off today. I'm actually not ready <laughs> to turn my camera. Okay. Uh, I was asking to uh, to make sure that connection is good to me. No. Um, I think we talked today about first impression. Could be. Yeah. Right? Yes, because it's or uh, we will so, or we will describe yeah. the person uh, if he's Kenyan, like Hanen, uh, tell us be, before the conversation start. Okay. I think it's a uh, it depends on uh, first impression. Okay. Yeah. It, it will it right. actually, it's actually both because it, like a first impression and appearance is like both, like they are linked strongly to each other. So it's a uh, it's good one. Yes, uh, Serene, I say so. But what do you think generally about the topic? I, I think I I am thinking about a uh, first impression and how you feel um, mm -hmm. when you see that person for the first time. Okay. But can can you define what's the meaning of appearance? Let's say I don't understand appearance. this word, or I don't know what. Uh, and uh, and when someone, when I see someone, I start mm -hmm. to judge on him. Okay, but uh, before we talk, before anything else, and when someone see me to first time, mm -hmm. he say, "Masan, uh, uh, the 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 very bad impression on me <laughs> that anyone see see me, he he thinks that I'm so arrogant." Arrogant. Without talking. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh. If okay. you couldn't, if he, if we don't start talking, he will still think that all really? my friends before talk to me, they told okay. me that. Okay. That uh, I'm I'll, so arrogant. Okay. I don't I'll, know, know I'll why. To, I'll need to, to speak to you again about this point, and uh, we might say, yeah, I'll ask you in details if you don't mind if you, if you share this with us. I hope it's not personal. Uh, I can. I'll ask you later maybe why but now i am okay. um I, i'm just trying to define the word uh, appearance okay so okay I, I told you the feeling the the meaning the mm. yes yeah yeah that I, that meaning to me yes okay yeah but i, I understand uh, you you just said uh, they could judge you but without uh, you know without like actually knowing you just by the way yes. you look okay yeah. Yes. Yeah. That the appearance for me. Okay. Great. Thank yeah. you very much, Sherry. Thank and you. Yara, Yara, want to say something? Go ahead, Yara. Unmute yourself. I think appearance means uh, the uh, uh, the people looks. Uh, yes. You know, uh, tall hair, uh, mm -hmm. color, tall yeah. uh, um, uh, his his body, mm -hmm. something like that. Yes. Yes. Excellent, Yara. That's definitely it. Yes. Uh, thank you. Okay, so Sarah, uh, sorry, Yara and Shireen said uh, uh, the definition of appearance. So it's the way people look. Okay, uh, let's let's just do something fun. I want you all to uh, get the chat box ready. Okay, because I I'll ask you to type something in the chat box. Okay, and I'll try uh, to count who will uh, write as many as possible. Ahmed, you already uh, wrote tall, fat, bold, okay? So we'll skip these three adjectives. It's like, you know, the next exercise, <laughs> he doesn't know. Okay, so we'll do a fun exercise now. I want you in the chat box to write as many adjectives 
uh, that describe appearance as possible, okay? As many as possible, try to write like a, a lot of them. Um, so let's start now. I try to count. <laughs> okay. Come on, guys. I'll give you one minute. Let's see. I see Hanin wrote short and um, Motaz. Is it Motaz? Yeah, wrote handsome. Okay, Yara. Okay, Motaz wrote sharp. I'm trying to count here. <laughs> oh my God, I guess I'm gonna miss the counting. <laughs> Okay, skinny and short, and then skinny, pale, pretty, stocky, handsome, fat, wide, and overweight. Great, Hanan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hanan wrote eight. Don't repeat what uh, what the people before you wrote. Okay, we have here Nasser, tired, gorgeous, handsome, elegant, excellent Nasser. So these are three. Arrogant, okay, I'll skip this one. Tall, short, skinny, fat, short, blonde, black, white, handsome, excellent, Shireen. Yara, how his body look fat or not? Yes, okay. And Nora wrote, okay, nice, smart, tall, short, cute, pretty, skin, skinny, elegant, black. Sama wrote brave and attractive. Hanan wrote uh, smiley and spotty. Okay, now time out. Guys, that is great. That's a lot. And you know what? I missed the counting, but I think, I think Hanan uh, wrote, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of them. Yeah, I think, I think Hanan. Is it angry work? Yes, it works. <laughs> yes, it could actually describe people's appearance. Okay, Hanan, would you like to uh, say something to us today? Hello, Nancy. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Hannah? Alhamdulillah. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Hi, so everyone. I'm so happy. Every Wednesday, I'm waiting for this meeting. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to meet my friends. Oh. I'm going <laughs> to stay a, a fun, funny time. And uh, 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 something nice is waiting for me on this Wednesday. You know, so, we, thank you so much for this. Hannah, when, I, when I hear these words from you, like, Today, I was really, really going to cancel the class because I had no one to babysit my kids. <laughs> and I was literally turning off the camera because they are just around. And excuse me if there is any noise happening during the class, but I really didn't, don't want to cancel the class. So that's why I'm turning off my camera today. And that, because of okay. your nice words, I just, you know, <laughs> I don't honey, cancel the honey, class. <laughs> uh, uh, today's, today's topic is... Uh, Typically, uh, 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 like uh, uh, it's it's um, applied on you. Uh, I mean that uh, your face is always smiley. Uh, okay. You um, have a pretty face. Uh, your uh, character is uh, extremely uh, uh, attractive. Uh, I think uh, that no one can know Nancy and uh, never love her. Oh I'm sure God. of this. <laughs> You're so, so sweet. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, I think this is uh, also for most all of the uh, participants in this uh, meeting. Uh, all of those who are uh, always participate uh, with Osama, Shireen, Summer, Sana. Uh, 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 those are always uh, um, yeah. uh, they're always uh, here participating uh, yeah. together during the other conversations in uh, every day's uh, um, Facebook or Messenger uh, group Osama used used to uh, create yeah. for us. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, the appearance of the people sometimes is deceptive. <laughs> I'm like gonna. Mm -hmm. make, you feel, make you feel bad but uh, I feel sometimes it's uh, deceptive mm -hmm. uh, people can appear in a very smiley and good face uh, mm -hmm. appearance uh, uh, but uh, you can find them uh, like uh, uh, putting uh, needles in your back mm -hmm. um, yeah. but 
this is not a, a, a very uh, optimistic or uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not that one who is uh, putting on uh, black uh, glasses. Mm. <laughs> I'm. I'm really, really uh, loving all the people. Mm. Uh, but once uh, I have got some, um, like uh, disappointed mm. uh, from one of those who uh, were so so good appearance, uh, so good character at the first impression, as Shirin said, mm. and uh, suddenly I've. Uh, got a big problem from that person. Mm. Uh, this is uh, that was a lesson to me. Mm. That yeah. was like uh, uh, I've got a big, a big uh, uh, punch uh, that made me always be very careful. Mm. But uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm not that person who is deceived with uh, these fake appearances from other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you wait until you know them well first and then like excuse so me you, sorry uh, I'm, I'm just saying you wait until you know you know the people first like you know their personality and uh, then just just a while to mm. to to know the people yeah. and uh, alhamdulillah i'm talented that i can know the people very well uh from a very short time i can understand which mm. uh, which person or which character is this whether he is honest or deceptive uh, mm. uh person okay. uh, um i that's think it's talent. better if 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 sorry that's a talent as you said, it's a uh, talent. A gift. A gift from Allah. A I gift, think it's a yeah. gift. <laughs> it is, it so, is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the other appearances, the physical appearances, uh, it's, it's not uh, very easy to, uh, to, to, hmm. to know it or to see it. Like uh, Shireen also said, the first impression from people. Yeah. Uh, the first impression, when you see a very healthy body, hmm. wide, uh, stocky, uh, builded uh, with muscles, mm. uh, so you can say that this person is uh, healthy. Absolutely. Maybe he's not. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Those who are smiling, sometimes they are very honest. They mm. are clear, mm. uh, but sometimes they are uh, hiding a very big uh, monster behind their smile. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. So yes, I say that we have to. Mm. Uh, uh, we have to uh, be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree with you, uh, Hanan. And um, yeah, the I well, as Shireen said, it's the first impression because the, well, the appearance and first impression they are linked strongly oh. to each other. So um, yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Hanan, for your participation. I'll just uh, yeah, see who. who uh, uh, okay, Nasser, would you like to say something? Yeah. Uh, Hello, who's that? Uh, not now. Okay, okay, it's fine. <laughs> okay, just, just because you unmuted your microphone, I thought you unmuted. Uh, I'm your... sorry. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, whenever you're ready, no rush. Okay, now let's uh, start with our first question. Um, well, I think this topic is getting uh, more interesting than I what I thought. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, what is the first thing you notice about a person? Okay, so um, maybe I'll, I'll tell you something about myself. I, I just know, well, I know most people look at the face first. Okay, so I just notice if a person is, uh, you know, gloomy or smiley or, you know, just having like a neutral face without expressions. Uh, so, well, this is me. Uh, so what about you? What's the first thing? Because other people might notice first, you know, the clothes, maybe the person wears, uh, maybe something else. Nora, go ahead. Unmute yourself. Feel free to speak. Hi, Nancy. How Hi. are you? I'm good. How are you? I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. <laughs> last, last week, I um, I can't find the link, so I didn't get really? the listen. I don't know if there was a listen last week or no. I don't. Yeah, know. there was a listen. And Nora, you can save the link because we use I'm... the same one every week. Ah, it's... the same link. Yeah, okay. the same link. That's like good. we don't change the same link and the same password. Okay, so yeah, okay. just uh, be good. there on time. <laughs> Okay. Tell, okay. Tell yeah, because I like it, and I when I miss it, I feel bad. Why? <laughs> okay, just. But I thought there is no listen. 
uh, okay first thing i see in a person is his smile oh and eyes eyes okay <laughs> yeah I like eyes. Sometimes you can know the person that you talk with from mm. his eyes. Mm. I don't know. Uh, uh, sometimes when I talk with my kids, especially my son, mm. I can know from his eyes what if he says the truth, if he wants something, if yeah, you want. Yeah. Mm. And um, I don't know if there's a stranger, even strangers, you can see in, her, in their looks oh, how yeah. they are, if they are good, bad. Uh, and uh, also sometimes experience mm. play a big uh, part of this. Okay. Sometimes uh, yeah. older than me, maybe they have more experience. They can look at the person and say, he's good, he's bad. I'm not feeling comfortable. I feel good. Okay. <laughs> you know that? Yeah, yeah, you're right. And yeah. Tell me more about the eyes because I like this part. I well, I believe that you know when it comes to body language, eye contact is very, very important, and it can you can tell you yes. a lot about the person in front of you. And they also said yes, that yes. Uh, if you are confident enough to make eye contact with the person in front of you, this means that maybe you're honest or you're confident or you know well by well, I don't have a problem with that, but um, no, actually I like to look at the person in the eyes. Okay. At, at mm. Uh, in the eyes. In the eyes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can say at their eyes, or in, but but we say like you look at the person in the eye. In the eyes. Yeah. Much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, and the first first thing my friends always say about me that uh, we think you are a little crazy, a little funny, <laughs> and when I said something wise, they're just like, "What? You can speak wisely." <laughs> Nora, uh, I know that uh, people, uh, well, ladies, especially like, I mean, women don't like this, uh, this question, but would you like to tell us how old are you? <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. I'm 34. <laughs> You're 34. Okay. Because, you know, when, when yeah. you, usually when they say like, I have a crazy a kind of character and all that, I, I just imagine you, you, they are like 15, 18 maximum. No, I'm still crazy until now. <laughs> Okay, okay. In what way, Nora? Tell me. No, you know, I don't like problems. I'm always like everybody around me smiling. Okay. I'm always try to, when my friends have problems, they always talk to me. They said, you let us forget our problems. Oh, that's so sweet. This Would you the, be my friend, please? Yeah, <laughs> this is the most thing I love. When they said that, really, they touch my heart. Yeah, but this is not <laughs> craziness. Maybe, it's not a no all. because I'm always let them laugh. Always try to com comfort or yeah, yeah, comfort, comfort them. Comfort them. Yeah, yeah, I'm always try to comfort them because yeah. it's not a problem. It's not a big deal. It's okay. It will pass. Uh, don't think too much. I'm always saying this word: easy, easy, easy yeah. is my best word. Wow. <laughs> You're, you're just like even with husband. my husband <laughs> when my husband does this, the same thing like you know it's always simple and there is always a solution for every problem and if it, there is no solution now there must be you know like uh, something coming later from God, so it must be good you know <laughs> yes 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 i believe yeah. in that from all my heart even if we now feel angry or bad yeah don't be it will it will pass everything will pass yeah okay nora good things uh, bad things everything will pass that's that's uh well now we, from now on don't call uh, call this craziness uh well maybe there is a better word for that something like you're an optimistic person you are a positive person but definitely that's not a crazy person who say that because these are actually wise words okay you're just putting them in a in a you know maybe in a funny way to cheer the people around you up which is great maybe that's why yeah yes yes I'm, I'm i feel like i'm a positive person uh, and the opposite of me is my husband he's so negative mm. so okay. that's why i'm listening. trying <laughs> <laughs> no he no i told yeah, him okay. <laughs> i said uh, i don't know how we live together <laughs> but i think if i will be a little negative our life will be um, i don't yeah. know the word uh, hard, we can't tough. handle it it's yeah. hard yes yeah. it's very tough we can't mm. handle it i think yeah. we should be one positive one negative uh, yeah. the opposite to make it equally but he's lucky to have you then 
<laughs> because if we both are negative person, I can't imagine the life. Yeah, yeah it will be very Allah, uh, Allah put all two together because they are they. He know Allah know we we will complete each other. Yes. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Nora, thank you very, very much yes. uh, for your participation. <laughs> and please uh, put a reminder on your phone because I really like talking to yes. you. Yes. And uh, I will see you. I next, will. Yeah, on next time. Inshallah. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Nora. Okay. So, Nora said the first thing she, oh, sorry. Um, and the first thing she noticed about the person is, is uh, the eyes. Um, Okay, and now let's go to the next question because we have a lot of questions to cover today. Now, the next question is what do clothes some people wear? Uh, sorry, this one. Oh, someone wears, say about that person. Uh, Ahmad, uh, I, I'm sorry I unmuted you by mistake, but uh, go ahead. And no problem. <laughs> I mean, like, if you're not ready yet, are you ready to speak? No, it's okay. It's okay, okay. Great. Okay. So what? what how, you... how, how are you firstly? I'm good. How are you I'm, doing? Good. I'm good. good. Everything is great. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> how are you doing in this in this cold weather? My God, it's very cold. And even today it was sunny and I took the girls, went out and I, I didn't know the temperature was too. My God, it was freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I picked yes. the worst day to go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. Ahmed, where, where, where do you live in Ireland? Which part? Um, I'm living in, in Dublin. In Dublin, exactly okay. in, in, in Dublin 3. In okay. Dublin. Okay, yeah, yeah. What, what about you? In Dublin or in Cork? No, no, I'm in Wexford, down in the, in the south. Oh, okay, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm in Wexford. And it's, uh, it's, it's even freezing. Like, I, I don't even live in the town now. My, my house is in the countryside, so it's like 15 minutes out of the town, and it's it's like on um, a hill so the temperature here is even you know oh, colder i know that i know yeah. it, it's all it's it's always um like outcast always and and windy yes in this yes. area yes <laughs> okay now Ahmad, tell me so uh, what do you think about the people's clothes or the way people dress themselves is uh, could that tell you something about the person actually this is the first thing that attracts me when I see someone okay. uh, uh, at first. Okay. Uh, um, actually, uh, I don't mean that um, uh, it's attracting me because it is um, expensive or fancy or something like this. Okay. No, I just, I just um, the thing that attracts me is how tidy. Yeah, uh, the, okay. How, how tidy he is <laughs> or she is. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Mm. Uh, and uh, and it, it represents the personality of the of the of um, mm. of this person. So uh, if he is 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 well dressed, okay. uh, I mean, mm. um, most probably he will he will be um, a, a nice man or lady, <laughs> because okay. um, uh, people who are just mixing mm. uh, strange uh, uh, clothes each other. Mm. I, I think they are a little bit messy in their lives. Okay, you think so? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, we will have uh, now a debate about this. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think, okay. You know, like, I agree, I agree with the part of, uh, you know, that the clothes might be, uh, like, should be clean and, uh, and tidy and all that. But do you think if you, if you met, like, a person who's, who's messy or something, uh, maybe he was, like, he was clean or tidy in the morning and, and then after a few hours or after work, he, you know, he just looked like that. So uh, when you yeah, see him, yeah. You know what I mean? Especially when you meet yeah. a person that pa just passed by. So you, you're not going to meet him actually again to get to know him. But I do understand completely that this actually, we ha we are somehow in, in a different percentage judgmental when it comes to appearance, you know? <laughs> but I, uh, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah. I said, well, we can't, we can't deny that. We'll, we will never deny that if, if you saw like a person who's like very will say uh, let's say if you saw even a homeless in the street and you know he's wearing a clothes that are torn or worn or something and you might feel like intimidated or scared that he mm. might you know do something no. at you or so. I'm, I'm not saying like you are saying that but i would say e some e people okay uh, and yeah. 
so it, uh, and what I want to say that we are some, even, even if it's one percent, it could be judgmental when it comes to appearance. You know, if you saw a person who is, you know, wearing a suit or something, you might, you won't say, oh, you will say, oh, maybe he's working in a bank or maybe he's a businessman or will all these yeah. thoughts come to our minds, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I, 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 I um, what you are saying is, is absolutely correct. Um, and also, um, you, you know, this, uh, there, is, uh, there is like a, a proverb or something saying that the first impression lasts yeah. for, for, uh, forever. I mean, <laughs> so, um, and also the, the way uh, people uh, dressing uh, is not the, the only thing that we are uh, focusing to uh, discover this person. Mm. Uh, this is this is just the, the first impression. After that, we are communicating together. Mm. We will listen to each other, and after that, we can like um, we can create uh, uh, a, a full image of this person. Yeah. Not only uh, <laughs> not only his appearance. <laughs> okay, but Zibri, because I see here, um, Shireen said a few things, but and then at the end she said, no, I don't think a uh, first impression lasts. So do you think that, okay, if you, if you had some impression about a person and then you get to know that person, uh, do you think that mm -hmm. you still, the, the image of the first impression, do you think it will still last even after you know that person? I believe so, yes. Okay, because you know, uh, Shireen gave us a very uh, good example. She said that when the people look at her, at some point they are being judgmental and then they think she, she's arrogant, okay? But then when they get to know her, they know that she has a kind heart and she's, you know, a good person. So do you think that after knowing Shireen, for example, you would still think she's arrogant? And that was your first impression? Yes, uh, for sure. I, we, we can change our mind always. Yeah, it's not. We are not like a machine. <laughs> yeah. So we 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 get uh, just the first impression, and this it must be last forever. No, it's it's not like that. Okay. I mean this. Mm. I mean in 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 most of the cases, it, it is like that in my view. Mm. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, yeah. maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, so it I I believe it is something very personal. Yeah, uh, and it 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 is different from from one to to, to another. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Thank you very much, Ahmed, for your participation and stay <laughs> <Yeah>. warm. <laughs> stay warm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, great. Now let's jump to the next question. I'm trying to cover uh, as many questions as we can in this session, but uh, if you'd like to um, maybe uh, give your opinion about one of the previous questions or something, it's okay. Uh, but this question now, have you ever been uh, intimidated by someone's appearance? And the meaning of intimidated is like you feel scared of a person, okay, just because of the way uh, that person looks. Um, if that's okay, I'd, I, I would like to say that for me, for example, uh, yes, and that happened before, uh, like um, that happened before uh, to me, uh, like in a lot of cases, like I might see a person who's wearing um, like kind of weird <laughs> clothes or a lot of, you know, body piercing, a lot of rings in different, you know, strange places, and 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 this kind of look. I'm not being judgmental, but like this kind of look make me feel like that that person is like an addict or something, or or he looks weird to me. So I feel like I'm a bit scared. <laughs> so this me for me personally, it happened to me before. Now, Sama, would you like to participate? Hi, hi Shanti. Hello, dear. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. What do you think, Sama, about uh, today's topic? Do you like it? Uh, it's. I thought it's a little bit hard uh, because I don't know like um, adjectives so much, but it's like easy, not like uh, how I, I thought about it. Oh, yeah. No, you know, sometimes you judge the topics like, you know, uh, from its name, but I'm trying yeah. to, to pick like a simple, you know, simple question. So <laughs> I have an opinion about a topic about um, 
عزف جيتار and بيانو play it's a little bit um, weird thing <laughs> ah, play okay you think playing um, a kind of musical uh, music uh, yeah you know, it's um, a weird topic a little bit but it's nice Uh, okay, let me just, uh, <laughs> I don't understand Sama. What do you, well, okay, are you talking about today's topic? No, no, I'm talking about uh, another mm-hmm. topic, oh, okay. uh, opinion, yeah. Oh, okay, your opinion about another topic, which is yeah. like playing uh, any kind of musical uh, instrument. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, okay, now let's get back to this question. Um, it, it, it won't be hard for you to answer this uh, question, Sama. Um, you are so good. <laughs> okay, I was just asking. Okay. Uh, it, uh, hmm. uh, ha- I will read the question, then I will answer it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, have you ever been uh, intimidated by someone's appearance? Hmm. Like, um, the question is me about me. Yeah, it's about you. Like, have you ever yeah. been you know, like uh, scared? Have you have you felt uh, scared when you looked at someone just because the way they look, or the way he looks? Yeah, uh, when I was in the school, uh, the teachers and the misses think about me that I'm so quiet and um, so shy, but my um, my character is like uh, I love uh, talking. I love uh, doing things like. It's the opposite. Mm, okay. Like when when they so when they uh, sh- uh, see me on the uh, saw me on the class, mm. they uh, think that I am so shy and I'm lonely and mm. I'm so quiet. Okay. But when I was um, answering in the class, mm. uh, it's opposite than my face and when I'm sitting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're just respecting that you are in a class and you are just, you know, willing to um, learn. You're just uh, trying to listen to the teachers and everything. So they're no. not. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> in the class, we're learning. <laughs> I, uh, under the desk, there's uh, chips and chocolates and my sandwich. Oh, okay. I hope your teachers are not listening to this. <laughs> no. No. They 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 don't uh, show me. <laughs> Okay, we don't see you. Okay, but Sama, um, uh, I am not sure if you understand the question, but um, um, well, thanks for sharing. Of course, thanks for sharing that with us. But uh, the, question well, here, so. the question here uh, means that has yeah. it ever happened to you that, for example, you're walking in the street and you saw someone who's like wearing something um you know stranger and then you felt like uh, yeah yeah i understand you yeah you felt like you're scared of that one has this ever happened to you uh yeah it's happened uh, to me and even my uh, brother mm. we was in the uh, i was going to the um, uh, to the supermarket yeah. and there's uh, like uh, black cars on our um mm. uh, Uh, in the front of our house okay. there's a black car and it's a little bit weird so mm-hmm. I was coming into the um, into the house mm-hmm. and they was uh, stopping me that you know don't uh, don't come to the house because there was um a yeah. uh, one cheating a cheat like it's a police after after we know the um the story it was mm-hmm. police so he so they're um their um, eyes on me like I was <laughs> like I'm Terminal. making a bad thing yeah oh. they they were so weird okay yeah so just the way they yeah. look that they are sitting in a black car yes, and yes. they look like VIP that's make that makes you scared yeah so much <laughs> okay okay Sama <laughs> thanks very much for uh for speaking with us thanks very much Yo. Uh, Sama, uh, Sama is one of uh, the people who are always here in the class. Thank you very much, Sama. Okay, now let's go to the next question. And again, if you feel like uh, speaking uh, or um, you know sharing your um, opinion about any of the previous questions, so go ahead. That is no problem at all. Um, I have here just a second. Let me take a look. Um, Okay, so Sama, Shreen, uh, and Yara, you spoke already. So let me just try to take someone who didn't speak. Uh, Hanin, would you like... We have Hanin, Muataz, Nasser, uh, Samar, Usama. We have a, a, a lot of people. So you guys, would you like to participate? Um, if so, feel free to unmute your microphone. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just trying to get as many people as we can to speak today. Uh, so any of you? Of you, sorry. Uh, Osama and Samar, you didn't say anything today. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Osama. Hello, how, are you? how are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, thank you. You're, Everything is well. You're quiet today. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm just a, a little out of mood. Oh, so really? I, uh, I, hmm. uh, yeah, I didn't want to participate, but uh, I have to. No, no, you don't have to. Yeah. If you don't feel like no, it's no, no. okay. No, no, <laughs> it, it, it's for me. Yeah. It's for okay. me. Yeah, because you know we get you 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 made us like you get used to it like uh, listen to you, your opinion every every week. So now you can't. Uh... <laughs> okay. So Osama, tell us, uh, can your call uh, sorry can your culture, uh, religion, or personality influence your appearance? Yeah. First, first. Um, uh, so if we like it or not. We are being judged by uh, how we look. Yes. The appearance take yeah take a, a very important impression for people. Yes. It's a hundred percent agree with you. Life. Yeah. Especially if you are uh, in your job in your um, uh, work. So mm. at work you uh, it's uh, it reflects your personality so much. Uh, mm. It's not all uh, the all uh, the people. Uh, know mm. us from but mm. it's one of the most important things yes. that people judge us not just not just know but, but also judge us by yeah. yeah yeah i totally agree yeah uh, as for uh, uh our culture and religion uh, for me my personality mm. yeah, yeah when i'm i just search for uh, uh, my kind of clothes trousers or jeans Mm. I, 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 it's it's very difficult for me here to find my uh, just uh, um, uh, you know normal jeans. No, mm. it's uh, cotton for from many okay. places. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. It's my personality. I, I don't know if if it's for men allowed or not or not. Is it illegal in our uh, religion in Islam or not to wear it? But really, for men, I don't know. I okay. don't. I don't think it, it has a problem for uh, religion. To wear uh, jeans that cut from uh, mm. uh, downside or not, but mm. I don't like it very much. And mm. of course, as people, um, uh, if I think uh, if I saw someone uh, in something that uh, that is not, um, you know, mm. uh, just if we are talking about hijab, it's a religion. It's for yeah. our religion. Yeah, but I can that's what I wanted to hear. Uh, yeah, yeah. If if she isn't wearing hijab, it's her personality. Not I. I can't judge her, so I can't say that she is not good because she is uh, yeah. wearing something. No, it's yeah. um, her personality. Yeah, uh, it changes from uh, one to uh, another. Someone to leave or not, it's for him. But uh, the, yeah, uh, about personality, it's not uh, my yeah. thing to judge her or to know her from or okay. him. Yeah. From his so, clothes. so you but do it, agree, uh, right? Yeah. You do, you do yeah, agree yeah. that uh, the culture or a, a religion. As you say, uh, some some things uh, I can see here. Of course, oh, I didn't see it here. But if you are talking about uh, that uh, in Europe, you saw uh, a lot of persons with that uh, put person in uh, a lot of places. Yeah, it's weird for me. I I I can't imagine that I can uh, deal with it. Yeah, it's mm. very with him, with him, especially with him. Mm -hmm. It's not, okay. uh, yeah, you know, it's not of, of our customs, our culture, our religion. So mm -hmm. it's very weird for me, and I think it, uh, it will, uh, it mm -hmm. will make me uh, can't uh, deal with him uh, in a good way. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so you, you Osama, you agree that uh, your culture, not not you, like uh, like Osama, but I mean the person's culture, religion, and personality definitely influence the way the person oh. looks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do agree. Okay. Great, Osama. Thank you for your participation, even when you are okay. in a bad mood. Maybe I, I need it to get you to speak to Nora to put you in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's the expert about that. <laughs> no, no, really, your session makes us uh, all of us in a good mood. Thanks for having me. Okay, thank you. Effort. Thank you very much, Osama, for your participation. You. You. And now, um, I'd like to hear more about, about the, this question. Hello, Nora? Hi, Nancy, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. How are you? 
I'm fine, thanks. Uh, this is the first time for me here, is it? Uh, so I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great to yeah, yeah. here. So glad to have you today. And hopefully you'll okay, see the coming weeks you. as well. How did you know about the class? Uh, by the Facebook group. Okay, okay, that's great, Nora. Uh, thank you very much for your participation. Now, would you like to say something? Oh, uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm, I'm living on Ireland. You learn it? Okay, that's great. Which part? Uh, Dublin, Dublin, on south. Okay. Yeah, Blackrock area. Oh, I know Blackrock area. Okay, that's yeah. great. So it's lovely to uh, see you here. Maybe we'll see each other after this lockdown. Yes. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to find the friends here, actually, because I, I have moved recently to Dublin. Okay. I don't know a lot of people here, so... I'm looking forward to uh, see some friends. Okay, yeah, hopefully you will, you'll meet uh, a lot of nice people, as nice as you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Nora, would you like to say something about this question or would you like me to uh, go forward with the question? No, I would like to add something on this question. Um, it's related to um, um, uh, an experience about this one um, that's already happened to me mm -hmm. uh, because I, as I said that I have uh, recently moved to Dublin mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, um, I'm wearing hijab mm -hmm. uh, so I um, the first impression for the people that I am working with for a girl uh, that wearing hijab and moved here on Ireland so is kind of weird mm -hmm. uh, and I found them they uh, miss a lot of information about how we are living. Yes. So for the girl who wearing hijab, so so um, uh, so um, this girl shouldn't uh, like talk with the people, not make like a laugh yeah. or um, say anything uh, for fun or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but I think that I um, give them a shock about this. Yeah. Uh, knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. Totally because agree at, with you. yeah, at yeah. the first time they was expecting me to be quiet, not to to anyone, mm -hmm. etc. With this, but they found me uh, on so the opposite way that they are thinking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, sorry, Nora. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm I'm working on uh, in a um, in a company here, mm -hmm. uh, okay. And uh, before the lockdown, I was working on an office. Um, okay. yeah. So I met a lot of people from uh, a lot of country. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm I'm shocked too because I found um, uh, this ideas about. Uh, Muslim, mm -hmm. uh, how they are uh, living. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so they, for example, when I um, shared with them that I love dancing and I got some classes um, to dance. Okay, how uh, do you dance? How mm -hmm. how can how can you do something like that? You are a Muslim, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, I'm Muslim, but I'm free to do what I whatever that whatever uh, I like. Uh, yeah etc of these things so yes um the uh, the religion and your culture mm -hmm. may uh, share like a first impression to mm -hmm. the other people who are different from your culture yeah. but this impression shouldn't be lost forever because they will start communicating with you and um, mm -hmm. by the time they will know you by the time and this, the people here are open-minded so they are accepting uh, different oh, culture yes, yes. yeah you're yes. absolutely right Noah. yeah and uh, yeah be, well i i used to say the same thing to everyone i meet like even when i go back home i i start explaining how you are framed of being a, 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 like a muslim female living in a foreign country or you know in a european country and they are just to start like dealing with you like if a Muslim or a female um, uh, uh, from Egypt is the same for them uh, as the one from Afghanistan, the same the yeah. one coming from India or coming from any other, you know, uh, Islamic country, and then they start. So you are framed as a, a female Muslim. So and then they just don't look at uh, the way you are raised, the way uh, you are, yeah. you, you lived your life. They don't even, you know, understand that even if you are from Egypt. 
different people from <laughs> from Egypt is still having is somehow different cultures, you know. Yeah, the people yeah. who live in Upper Egypt they have even sometimes different, uh, you know, uh, traditional uh, things that they do uh, different than than us. You know, Nora, I used to give um, cultural um, and Islamic presentations as a kind of it's a sort of you know raising awareness about the Islamic and the, the Arabic culture because like people. Yeah. Have, so misinformed about our culture <laughs> if you're yeah. if you'd like i can forward a full presentation to you just to take a look at it because i just tried to organize it um the way you know any kind of question and answers so if someone asks you a question you'd be able to answer them in. yes that will be great actually because you know when the first at the first time when i got like this misconception conception from from their point of view or or when they shocked for example when they know that muslim girl can drive their own car on their country oh. for example yeah. uh i i gave them the impression that is what you are saying yes female can drive their own car cars on on egypt or in other arab arabic country mm -hmm. uh, but uh, i realized that i i haven't to uh, give them this um impression mm -hmm. because they 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 get shocked as well on the opposite way so yes. when i so when when they um tell me something that is not correct about uh, about uh, Muslim girl or Muslim boys, whatever on our culture, mm -hmm. I have to accept this with very open-minded and <laughs> and try to like um, um, uh, explain on um, mm -hmm. uh, and on on not um, on not um, like uh, like a person who gets shocked from what they are saying. Oh, yeah. No, I have to don't get offended. Yeah. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially, you know, the way they are actually talking to you, it just, it, it really matters. So if you are, if you are trying to, you know, attack you or they are um, speaking in a, in a bad way, it's different than actually the one who is telling you what they know. And then they want you to explain to them, maybe enlighten them, you know, <laughs> if they have. Yeah, uh, usually I don't attack them, but I usually, when I hear something weird that they, that they are saying about us, I just laugh. And this laugh makes them feel i feel like not comfortable like you know <laughs> yeah i know well because you see even sometimes when i tell when i tell people here that i'm from egypt some of them actually think that we still live in desert just beside the pyramids yeah. in a kind of tent <laughs> so, come on guys what are you talking about like seriously and then when you show them the people uh, back home when you show them the the pictures you know the the like w whenever you go you know in the summer and then i when you show all, all these pictures they just feel like we are in dubai you know this is different yeah <laughs> yeah who's saying this just a second uh i think osama said that camel tents desert and the paris yes yeah <laughs> Yes. If you if if you can share with me this um like a link or the group that you are working on to um yeah um, to uh, share about I just uh, you know my um uh, my page on uh, on Facebook is Easy English with Nancy so just message me there uh, and send me okay. your, your email or you can mm -hmm. send me I, I'll type my email now in the chat box it's Easy English with Nancy at gmail .com and just uh, email me and I'll send it straight to you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome, Nora. <laughs> okay, I shared it here now. Yeah, here we go. Okay, uh, Nora, you made me feel like I want to talk forever about about this. Okay, now let's take this last question. Now, let me see. Um, Okay, this is uh, the last question you're gonna have because it's almost nine o'clock now in Ireland. So, uh, okay, we have Motas here. Hello, Motas. Hello, Nancy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I am also new here uh, and also new here in Ireland. I am here from three months. Oh, okay. uh, welcome <laughs> here. to the class and welcome to Ireland, Motas. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. 
So we meet, uh, okay, just uh, before uh, you leave, we meet every Wednesday at the same time. It's 8 p.m. Ireland time. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you in the coming uh, mm -hmm. classes. Okay. And, I hope so also. Yes. Okay. Uh, Matas, which part in, in Ireland do you live? I live in Dublin in a district called Rith Mines. Okay. In um, Dublin 6. Okay, I'm not uh, in Dublin 6. Okay, so you're... Yes. I'm not sure if you are uh, close to Ahmed, but maybe you guys can mm. uh, uh -oh. communicate somehow. I'm not sure how. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but tell me, uh, Mata, uh, Mata's right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, where are you from? Uh, I am from Egypt. Okay, great. <laughs> so do you think people in Egypt talk a lot about other people's appearance? Uh, okay, uh, I think yes, um, but in Egypt it's not going like uh, they, um, they fully judge by appearance, mm. I think. Uh, it's, it's maybe, um, maybe also it's a different mindset between women and the men uh, about when it come to come, it, it come to judge and person appearance mm -hmm. uh, I think for men they uh, don't care much like uh, women uh, <laughs> if we judge uh, okay. <laughs> I think okay uh, uh, well yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think so <laughs> okay. I, I agree a little bit <laughs> uh, so but but also men maybe uh, maybe mentions uh, person appearance maybe mention he is uh, handsome he is uh, Three chic, as uh, we see mm -hmm. in Egypt, mm -hmm. or um, something like um, uh, if you uh, also in Egypt, uh, we are comfortable uh, with asking someone about his uh, clothes or, uh, and uh, can get him uh, like a consultancy. Like, I, I will get, uh, I, I will go out with you to buy some. Uh, I, I will call you when I will buy some uh, clothes because. Mm -hmm. You have a good uh, good look, so I will trust your style and I will trust your opinion. Mm. So I will call you when I uh, uh, when I go out and uh, make a shopping. Mm. So uh, we are comfortable with uh, with uh, people appearance in Egypt. I think we are not like uh, feel discrimination or feel like something if he mm. wearing. Um, uh, wearing uh, uh, like uh, fancy clothes as in he is uh, like uh, uh, he, he will uh, uh, he is like um, yeah. I don't say how to say it uh, he is like um, okay I don't know the word uh, okay you can, uh, can tell us the word in Arabic we can find like okay mutakabir arrogant <laughs> Okay, arrogant. arrogant. So he is uh, not like an arrogant. Uh, no, he can be just be uh, like his good uh, style and like his good appearance. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I think it's it's easy in Egypt. Okay. Uh, here in Dublin, mm -hmm. I don't think, uh, as I said, I stayed for three months. Mm -hmm. uh, people doesn't care about. Uh, yes. Yes, um, yes, yeah. yes, my God, okay. they really don't care about, yes. you know, the, uh, the, the, the clothes at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. uh, totally. Uh, also, uh, here in Dublin, there is uh, uh, very uh, culture diversity. Mm. So you can see all kind of, uh, if you, uh, especially if you are in city center, mm. you can see uh, um, a, a very uh, a, a lot of different uh, cultures by just only by clothes like Roma Romanian and uh, like uh, Indian like uh, Pakistanian um, not very much for uh, formal clothes but uh, yes but here um, here there is a diversity and they don't care about uh, appearance. Also in work, I didn't go to office anytime because of the lockdown and the current situation. Okay. Mm. But um, what do you but do, Ahmed? Uh, sorry, uh, Mataz, what do you do uh, for a living? I also work in IT company. Okay. Mm. Here in the, so uh, as I see, uh, but by the way, uh, some uh, a lot of people here in work uh, um, mm. 
although they work from home, but mm -hmm. as they uh, dress well for uh, for meetings and uh, for yeah. Uh, yeah. for cameras, uh, mm -hmm. even they stay in the home, so they dress for uh, their work, mm -hmm. so they can get the feeling of uh, they are working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't do that, so <laughs> but okay. I found out to people do that. Uh, I I was like I convinced. <laughs> I maybe should try this way. <laughs> yeah, did you see what Ahmad said just now in the chat box? He said only the top part. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. maybe they wear a shirt on the, you know, the pajamas pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. Uh, yes, I I uh, I agree with you about you know uh, the people here in Ireland. They just I I I don't know. Like I felt it, especially in the, like you're saying that, and you live in Dublin. So please, mm. if you come to a, a, any town, you will just can't believe how the way they just they literally can go out to the shopping with their pajamas. I'm not being judgmental, but I see yes, a lot. Yes, I, I saw that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So okay. yeah. Mm. Okay, Mata, thank you very much. And set a mm. reminder, uh, mm. you and okay. Laura, because you said you guys uh, are here for the first time. So hopefully we'll see you uh, again next week. We meet uh, um, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Okay. Ireland time. So okay. thanks very much for your participation, Mata. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So the hour, as, uh, as always, <laughs> it flies. So it's uh, five past nine now. Uh, thank you very, very much for your participation. This session was, well, when I actually picked this topic, I wasn't sure if it's going to be like interesting or not, but you always make any topic interesting. So thank you very much. And uh, again, um, Osama, Shireen and Hanan uh, and, and also Sama, they created, Samar, go ahead. I can't say no to Samar. <laughs> She's one of the of the like the, the the first people who joined this session. So Samar. Hello Nancy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Fine, thank you. Would you like to add something, Samar? So as we say in yes. Egypt, it will be Khitam <laughs> Humisk. <laughs> I don't know how to translate no. that. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, so tell me. I didn't uh, speak that now to let other friends to speak. Okay, you're so decent. Thank you, Samar. So would you like to um, answer this question or would you like to answer any of the previous questions? Uh, I just want to say, um, we are not supposed to judge a book by its cover. So that means not judge on other, uh, by their looks, uh, eye movement, uh, physical appearance, uh, clothes, hair, facial uh, expression. Yes. Um, uh, eye movement, uh, do you remember Alex um, is one of, um, uh, we talk about uh, him in uh, this class uh, before. Who uh, is? Do you remember Alex, uh, who's the, his eyes round all over uh, the room, not uh, to his friends. And Alex? we all watch, yes. Alex? Uh, yes. Okay. It was um, an example who his eye, his eyes around all over the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Samar, that was like a first yes. class or something where you I still remember. Yes. Oh my God, Samar, you are so smart, <laughs> I would say. Thank you. Okay, so just to give me one second, I'll explain to others what you're talking about. We got, we took one exercise before. Uh, it's not like exercise. We uh, we were just we were talking about. Uh, do you remember the 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 topic, Samar? No. <laughs> okay, I, I I actually don't remember the topic. But uh, at that uh, we were just talking about how the way the per, the people look uh, could actually make you being a bit judgmental. And then uh, we give a few um, different situations about a person who was not, uh, you know, like, for example, you're talking to him and he's not answering you or he was looking over your shoulder. He's not looking to you in the eyes. And then you get, you feel like you get the feeling that this person is being rude. Okay. And then you actually, uh, we give you a three different situations uh, that the first one is that that person is very shy. He can't look to people in the eye. 
the other situation that that person is actually blind. That's why he's not looking to you in the eye. And then every different situation, we ask you to describe the, your feeling after knowing why did that person, you know, behave this way. Okay. And why is that? Just to show you that if you actually know the story behind every person, you will actually feel some sympathy toward that person. Uh, this, this was like a fifth or you know fourth class and i really really can't believe that summer still remember that exercise thank you very much summer <laughs> now we I continue remember. now you continue please uh, sometime i um, i meet uh, people i feel uh, positivity and other negativity but uh, not just on uh, negative people uh, until i uh, deal with them uh, mm. to know why this feeling come to me okay yes Okay. Uh, I know um, presidents uh, use the, their physical appearance and the body language to mm. attract the, um, all uh, audience. Mm. Yes, true. Right. Uh, and uh, you remember also uh, one of other friends here in class, uh, they, uh, she said that um, she tell uh, their uh, hair secrets to friends uh, that she only know after... Uh, Hmm. Uh, two meetings yeah. I know yeah yeah uh, that uh, that happened with me uh, okay. first I shocked when they told me all her secrets uh, I said what about my secrets uh, uh, with her hmm. but um, on another side I said um, to myself maybe she feel that uh, good to me okay. she feel positive and Com she want someone to tell her uh, to tell him uh, or her uh, her secrets and not judge on her that is yeah. right that is wrong yeah. uh, only to hear uh, her yes sometimes people just want someone to listen to them someone who's a yes. good listener yes 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 you're absolutely right summer uh, summer always always say um I learned some brilliant things about this topic. Thank you. <laughs> and Thank you, you always, Una. sometimes you raise uh, actually, uh, you know, issues and uh, you say like a good points that, um, well, in, it, it wasn't even in my mind when I prepared this session. So thank you very much, Summer. <laughs> you are very beautiful, Nancy. Okay. Your smile is wonderful. You are cute, polite, brave, <laughs> uh, attractive, very clever. Oh, wow. Uh, wearing okay. the fit clothes, you are my fashion blogger. Wow, so <laughs> Okay. No, Nancy, you are encouraging others to do things, and I, um, I learn a lot of you. So thank you very much, Nancy. You are very welcome. Uh, now people will think that I'm paying you to say these words. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you must be more. <laughs> but after now, you must be more. <laughs> Thank you very much, Summer, uh, for these nice yeah. words and thanks for your participation. And um, yeah, uh, so we uh, will stop here uh, now because, you know, uh, it's then past nine in Ireland. And then, um, as I said, um, Osama, uh, Hanan, Sama and Shireen, they created some uh, group on Facebook uh for uh, for our session here for those who want to who want who want to keep in touch uh, you can just go to um, my page on facebook you can just send me a message and if you would like to be added to this group uh, i'll forward your message to usama uh, he's in charge <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. And again, guys, if anyone would like to uh, suggest a topic for the next session, uh, you can do that, but, uh, you know, just before uh, Saturday. So I, I, I'll, you know, try to work on the presentation and everything. You can send me on Instagram or, or my Facebook. And again, I, 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 um, I put my email here in the chat box. So if anyone would like to email me, you're more than welcome. Thank you very much uh, for being here here today. And I hope to see you all uh, next week at the same time. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye.